Hey, Jay here. We're going to show you our little tech tip on the new KTM um, on oiling a filter. Simple deal, but a lot of guys don't do it correctly or as often as they should. So we're just going to show you on oiling this brand new uni filter we have here. The new KTM SXF models 253, 50, 450, all of them run this new cage. I really like this setup. So pretty simple deal. So first thing you do, pull your filter out, discard your filter, uh, clean it or have a new filter and make sure your, your boot here is all clean. I use a blue paper towels. I spray a little contact cleaner on the towel first and then wiper clean. Make sure you don't have any debris in here at all. And then I'll oil my new filter. So I find uh, there's, there's only a few oils that I like. I like a really sticky oil. This uh, Maxima stuff is main one we've used. It does seem, for whatever reason, a little waterier than it used to be. Not quite as tacky and runs off a little bit more than it used to. So we get it completely on the filter and if you don't do this you will uh, have little dry spots. So I'll run all through the filter just like so and as you can see I don't have any completely yellow spots, but I have some spots that are a little bluer than the others. Now, they say that you're not supposed to wring out the filters. I'm just squeezing it because they say it can damage the filter. So I'll squeeze it and then rub it into place like so. Now when I'm all kind of done here, I'll kind of wipe off my hands and wipe off the filter a little bit so we don't get so much runoff. So we'll do just like that. So at this point I'll install my cage. As you can see we have a two-stroke cage here. It doesn't have a backfire screen. Another very simple mod for your KTM. So I, I line up, so before I start I line up to make sure I'm pointing the right, has the right little connectors there. And again, really like this new setup from KTM for the filter. All the way around. And then there's these little tabs on the inside that you can just pull the filter over. That kind of keeps the filter snug on the cage. Now our filter's ready to go back in. The point back here will line up in its hole and you feel it go in and you pull down on this tab and push it in. I like to feel it to make sure it's secure and you're good to go.